find the only one place where flowers bloom in the bone zone. And since I'm here, it only makes sense to bring Mr. Bones himself, good old Mortacio. Not only am I gonna limit break him, but I also want to evolve him. I feel like this is the perfect time to do it. So let's see what sort of power I can get. For those who forgot, I unlocked something that apparently once I get this guy to level 80, he becomes evolved somehow. I'm not entirely sure. I'm excited to see what's up with that. Gladly go empty to him. Get some really good offers to begin with. Although I'm doing terrible at killing these things because I am on inverse mode. Enemies have 200% more HP. And of course, this is a challenge stage. So they grow in HP quite a bit. I think if I want to get good bone damage, I have to somehow get the bones to bounce off a ton of enemies. So I have to like pick off like the rare enemy that comes by and try to get some ricochets. Maybe taking some damage in the process. But if I don't do it, it's going to hurt. So maybe I'll hang out here. Yeah, let's just hang out here and take a little bit of damage right now and just watch as he shreds. Uh, not just shreds the enemies, but also my HP. Now, I'm pretty sure bone is something that can't be evolved, so I will just be limit breaking the bones. And, okay, I mean, this hurts. I, I can't be doing this forever. Uh, there are no chickens on this stage, though, right? I think that's one of the catches of the bone zone. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, that definitely is one of the catches of the bone zone. So I've made this very tough for me. There is no healing. There is no redemption, there is only pain. And I haven't begun to think about the secret yet, but I'll get to that later. I just want to get to a sustainable part right now. Okay, haven't leveled up much. Maybe some bone levels could be nice. Yeah, rather than just getting passive items, I should go ham on bone. Although well, ham generally is better without the bone, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, there's a few bones that are just bouncing back and forth forever. If I could keep that going, that'd be great. It's just eventually the enemies stop spawning and I can't do the crazy bone bounce thing. So that's sad. I got to keep getting myself in the middle. And now there's again, not that many enemies. Pick out the rare side enemy. Just try to get some good ricochets going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it bouncing. Only bounces. Ooh, missing some nice XP down here I can get. All right, base hit damage up by 20. That's got to count for something. Yeah, already we see just damage casually tripling. This probably will be what I need. Because at least if I don't get bounces, at least I can just kill enemies from this cloud. The pain will last no longer, hopefully. Well, I can bounce off the elites quite a bit. Yeah, that can ricochet like crazy. I actually don't know about the bone, if there is a maximum number of bounces. Because sometimes it seems like the bone can just bounce and bounce and bounce. So that's one of the strengths of it. I never really rigorously studied the weapon until now, so this is a good time to learn a thing or two. All right, awesome. Base speed in area. That's that's fantastic. Faster bones. I don't know if that makes it more or less likely to bounce off things, but I'll take any buffs I can get. Avoid those enemies. That is a lot of skeletons around me. I can barely tell where the enemies end and I begin. Do I want crown? I mean, yeah, but I also want damage. I'll get crown later. Right now, I just need to actually smoke these enemies. Smoked bones. Oh, there's a chest down below. Yeah, I'll take empty tome over anything else. I don't know how long that's been there, but I need you greatly. Oh, that's just the free spinach. It's whatever. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get crowned eventually. I think that can wait. Empty tome is necessity, though. Just the faster bones, more bones I can throw, the better. Awesome. More bones. That's a huge damage boot. Huge, huge, huge. We're already seeing gold numbers. I, I'm still taking damage, but I'm not afraid. Just a little bit of the red skeletons. Just a little bit, because they keep respawning on top of me. It's like they move while they're rematerializing. Either that or I'm moving into them. It's hard to tell. Okay, it's the era of the slow-moving projectile. Kind of annoying, because I can't really ricochet off a stationary enemy. This will have to do better. The projectile speed is probably good. Let's see, I want duplicator. I want crown. I think the last one could be bracer. Or Candle Labrador. Actually, Candle Labrador is really tempting. I think I'm going to go for that. Although, we'll see. It's only time will tell if that's the right decision. Okay, actually, I do shred through the slow moving projectiles pretty easily. It just does feel like I'm getting a lot less. I mean, there's not that many enemies spawning. It's an XP star portion. Ooh. All right, nice chest. Think I'll ever get there? And yeah, maybe if I circle around or something. I just got to distract these enemies. Get them to stop shooting at me. And then, when they least expect it, make it back toward... Okay, never mind. More enemies are spawning. Great. All right, if I can just get rid of the slow-moving projectiles, I should be able to make it to that free upgrade pretty easily. Empty tone to max. Good. All right, very fast cooldown. Very hyper-speed bones. 
Next thing I need is just some cool duplication. For level 20, it means I could get more projectiles, anything that can just huge power spike me. I see Cannon Labrador, I think I'll take it. So, because I've declined the uh, crown a lot, hopefully the game doesn't suddenly stop offering it to me. It's, I just, it just wasn't my time. You have to understand that there's a time and there's a not my time. More base damage up, awesome. Go more Torona's box, we're already seeing damage numbers almost at 200. The things are going great. I finally feel like I'm shredding a bit, but it still feels like there's a bit of ways to go. I'm not killing all the enemies. All right, go base area, go for big bones. The bigger the bones, the more likely it is to ricochet off something, which is my rationale behind it. I almost felt like Bracer might be a negative, because if the bone goes faster, then it may not get the value of bouncing off the enemy, because it'll just go too fast and fly off the screen before it gets the chance to hit anybody. But then again, I mean, the natural bone upgrade does increase its speed, so maybe there is some merit to speed. I mean, if I am surrounded by enemies and the bone won't fly off screen, wait, it bounces off the edge. The bone bounces off the edge. Why did I think the bone didn't bounce off the edge? Okay, I think I actually would have taken Bracer. Uh, whoops. I feel like bigger bones are still okay. And not just like a euphemism for being fat. I think the big bone might be all right here. But I do admit, Bracer probably would have been fine now seeing that it bounces off the screen. I just needed to look. Technically, I st could still get it if I just neglect, uh, what's it called? Duplicator. Maybe I, maybe I will. I'm already going to get a ton of amounts. What is plus two amounts anyway? Yeah, bring me more speed, see what happens. Spe Spellbinder could be good too. Although that one's tough to say. It, it kind of feels like Bone just synergizes with everything. Maybe I'd just say screw the, uh, <laughs> screw the uh, crown. Nah, that doesn't make sense though. I mean, the more upgrades, the more limit break. Alright, so I'm at an impasse. Bracer or Duplicator? I decided I'll take Bracer because it seems more fun to me. I want the fast bones, and I think I'll have a banger time with that. Unless if there is some hidden detriment that if it bounces off against the wall so many times that it becomes ass. Oh, but also, I forgot about the synergy. I could take wings and then also have really fast cooldown. Damn it! There's so many good options. Yeah, maybe I would want wings. Also, do I want to get Throna's box higher? I don't know. I just got a ton of levels. I think Bracer. I think I'll just get crowned. Say, so screw the wing strat. We'll just go for a ton of XP. Do I banish Throna's box? I don't need to yet. I can think about it more. But I think I can finally focus on the secret. So, now is the time to tell you I cheated. Because this is like, find the flowers. And you would think, like, maybe I could just have a question mark pop up. It's not the thing at the bottom of the screen. That's that secret I uncovered a while ago with the writhing bone mass. What I'm actually looking for is some hidden flowers. And it's just somewhere on the map. And there's no real easy way to find it, unless if you just look it up. So I did that, because I can't be bothered to go pixel hunting for some flowers. And apparently, if I go up, I will find them. Alright, so now I gotta make a decision. To Torona's box or not to Torona's box? Because I'm shredding? Let's try it. Let's see what happens, okay? For starters, they don't even seem that much worse. But maybe that's just because, I mean, there were always crap skeletons to begin with. I just figured, you know what? Let's bring on the higher frequency. I want to challenge this inverse mode, but that's just not enough for me, apparently. I want to see how Mort Mortachio does. Can I limit break my way to a big success? Well, so far, I am kind of struggling. So, we'll see if I regret this, but maybe his limit break is great. So, I actually want to go area. Get big bones. Big, 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 big bones. Oh, what the? Oh, they sped up now. Oh, okay. I I saw nothing until now. Green Reaper's showing up too. That's how much danger I'm in. Great. Let's go speed. Let's go speed again. Okay, so Torona's box was a big, big, big mistake. Not gonna make it that mistake again. Get out of here. All right, I mean, this map is already hard enough as is, you know, because enemies are going to get stronger with time. I think it'll prove to be a very suitable challenge even without the obscene curse. Not to mention, I still have to make it up. And even though I can start limit breaking now, I think I'm going to go speed because it sounds pretty fun. But yeah, I've got to go up still with limit breaking. It's going to be a very tough time, but I'm excited to see nonetheless. I 
felt that this was a lot easier the second time, but that's because I'm a bit more experienced. And my experience was get the bone damage upgrade as fast as possible. You also may notice my upgrades are a little bit different. I swapped out spinach for duplicator because I feel like the plus amount might actually help here. And it, I don't know, based off the chaos that's on the screen, it seems like it's helping. Tough to say for sure. And I'm due for another plus amount very, very soon. I can't make it to a red gem. Ooh, another plus amount. Yeah, I figure if I can get plus amount from bones, well, I guess this extra plus amount won't matter much. But then again, 50% might isn't the biggest game changer either. Then again, I could also use more damage. Do you want duration or amount? I'm gonna take amount because I think, if I had to guess, it's probably rarer than duration. And I think I should now start to try go up. I can actually carve a path, make it there. Keep going speed because again, it's the most fun. I make, can make up for it in speed right here. Let's go area. Try to call, just make some giant, fast, long duration bones. And I feel like that will be a recipe for success. Uh, speaking of recipe for success, I'll fetch that chest down here. Even though it means absolutely nothing to me. There's a red gem attached to it. That's something. How far am I from the silver? Okay, so I got a long way to go up. But thankfully, I got 20 whole minutes to do it. Let the journey begin. And the Green Reaper is showing up. Please tell me I can actually outrun him. Good news is I was planning on running anyway, so it just gives me a little extra incentive. Of course, the Green Reaper can teleport, so maybe I should be careful where he is. Ooh, I think I killed somebody. Surely not the Green Reaper, right? I mean, I guess he can be killed. Was he, though? It's tough to say. It could have been the other giant bone creature. Anyway, there should be a super red gem since I'm in this direction. Here we are. Take some amount. Gonna go speed. Definitely amounts again. More speed. More speed. More area. More speed. Speed. I think speed again. Okay, I keep getting offered speed. Is it making a difference? It's, I mean, they're fast. The bones are fast. It, uh, I guess only time will tell if that's really worth it overall. It might make sense to build up area too. Does it make sense to do everything but might? I mean, here's the thing. Might just feels bad because it's only plus 1%. Sure, I mean, I guess it's multiplied by the might of the um, uh, overall buff, which is plus 160% or something like that. But even still, it feels so insignificant compared to speed and area. Well, here's the thing, right? My dream is to have mega bones that take practically zero time to make it to the edge of the screen. So they bounce back and forth between things very easily. But I... I I doubt it'll ever work that way. I doubt they'll ever get that big, so I should stop dreaming and just accept the bones I have rather than the bones I want. I'm born with these bones. I can't change it. Oh, I'm taking damage. Although, that's probably my fault for running into enemies. Yeah, I'm being a little careless, but I also want to be a little faster. I don't know if I should grab the silver ring then, nor should I go near it just because I can't go fast due to all these enemies. Yeah, I don't hate being surrounded because that's better bone damage. But that does make it tough for me. Okay, awesome. I can get a chest. I don't know what chest I would want. This also doesn't seem to be an option to actually get the chest. Let's go Might now. Since I've given up on the area dream. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to take revives. Just based off the way it's going. Speed or Might? I think I still prefer speed. I'll keep going crazy on speed. But I'll take Might over area now. Will I actually get to this arcana now? Maybe. Yes. No. Speed. Come on. Just let me chop through this. Thank you. Yeah, I think I need revives right now. Just based off the way things are going, I'd like to have a little bit of safety if need be. And I'm now 10 levels away from evolving my Mortachio. It's actually been a while since I've leveled up, which is kind of scary. But I, I've mostly been focused on going up, because at least I can make it past the silver ring now. I gotta do something about these enemies. They uh, refuse to die. Okay, but now, at least when they get close, the bones just get so much better. Because now I'm always bouncing off of enemies. Yeah, the closer enemies get, the better bones get. The only thing that sucks is that it's gonna be hard to level up if I'm just standing still. As much as I like the tactic of just letting the enemies come to me, I gotta level up at some point. Uh, where's the super red gem? I know it exists. Okay, it's not down. Because there was a point where gems stopped spawning, so that means the super red gem is somewhere. Where are you? God. All right, let's go a mount. Maybe just grab the chest. Maybe this is the red gem. Maybe you're the one. Take more speed. Oh, yeah, this actually probably is it. Give me a mount as 
much amount as possible. Duration any day of the week. I think I would take duration even over amounts right now. Oh, all right. Wait, no, my weapon. <laughs> I spent so many levels limit breaking it. What is the anima of Mortachio? I don't know, but I'll take a bunch of speed. Whoa, what the hell? Wait, this is sick. And actually, it seems to have the damage of the bones that uh, from before. But now I'm huge. Give me duration. And it's gold. Wait, that's awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, I have so much HP. No, I don't. I have 233. I just don't take that much damage or something. Uh, I'm going to start. Okay, I still take quite a bit of damage. All right, that's noted. Nobody's perfect. I still got to go up. Ideally, I want to be going up and to the right, not up and to the left. Well, to be fair, though, I don't know exactly where the flowers are. All I know is that it's above the silver ring. Whether it's directly above or non-directly, I don't know. It's so annoying. The skulls are just kind of blocking the exact area that I want to go at. The exact area. But yet the left side is just all perfectly clear, just wanting me to move there. Why must it funnel me that way? All right, finally, I'm free. Just get directly above the ring, and then I'll start going up. Hey, I've got the momentum in my favor. The area above me is clearing, and I can knock back the few enemies here. I can actually sprint up most of the time. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, I found flowers. Um, Please tell me they don't hurt. Please tell me it doesn't hurt. Okay, it doesn't hurt. I can go in here. Here I am. I'm where the flowers grow. Oh, I heal. Oh, that is wonderful. I will stay here. Hey, and I got all my healing from the flowers. I heard I got the symbol. Awesome. Now I want to find the super red gem, and then I probably can just stand still for not the entire rest of the game, because I still want to level up, but for a lot of the rest of the game. This isn't it, is it? Oh, it could be. Let's go speed. Let's go amount. Let's go might. Speed. Speed again. Amount again. Duration. Oh! Even over amount? Yeah, probably. Speed. I think I'd do it again, actually. Yeah, I, I stand this decision. Take might. Take some speed. Take even more speed, because a little is not enough. Even more speed. Definitely gonna go amount here. Oh, this is lovely now. I wonder if I get anything for reaching level 100 with this guy. Because I've probably got him by now? Yeah, 101, to be exact. Pretty much hit the nail on the head. I doubt I get plus amount, right? I'm at plus 7. I don't think so. Um, if there's another Arcana chest, then there should be one more. I do want to get the one that gives me plus three amounts on Bone, just to get that sexy plus ten amount. It's just that keeps chasing the Skeleton Boy off the screen. Come back, Skelly Boy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this guy I need to eliminate. He just keeps getting knocked back. That's fine. He'll come to me in time. I love how this guy just looks. The fast speed mouth movements and the occasional arm reach out. Like, I wonder if my arms do any damage. That'd be kind of funny if I'm actually, like, whapping at the enemies, clawing at them with my bony fingers. Oh, that's a lot of, uh, slow moon projectile enemies. Nothing I can't handle, though. Oh, it's pretty tough skeletons, though. It's gonna take to get to this damn elite. He won't die. <gasps> there we go. I knew you were an arcana, you son of a bitch. What do you got for me? There we go. Plus three amount. It's just fun. Because now I have plus seven amount. You know, that might have actually done nothing. Because the weapon I have is not my starting weapon. Whatever. There was no other arcana I really wanted. Not even the one that give, gave, um, gives like extra curse or um, XP or whatnot. I don't care for that one. Just because it feels like suicide a lot of the time. Like, I don't want to gain curse under any circumstance right now. So I'll just take a nothing burger. I can get my plus amount here anyway. It's all fine. Ooh, wait, this is a lot of upgrades. Hell yeah, give me more duration too. How many bones can I get on screen at once? I'm gonna turn off damage numbers, see how it looks. We know how much damage these deal. I, I doubt this will help the bit rate at all, but it's more like I wanna maybe keep track, better track of the bones and that this may help a little. One minute left, I got 127 levels. Let's see what sort of damage I can do. Enemies are getting pretty close, but that only makes me stronger and them weaker. Although, actually, it does make them quite a lot stronger. Uh, it seems like they're not getting knocked back, but yet I'm still kind of shredding them. When the bones are super stacked, the damage is immense. I mean, it's not like the numbers are anything special. I'll take plus amount. 
And good thing I have all the revives, so I could probably stall it out. I would love to see what sort of level I can get to, but... Well, hold on. I have a little bit of immunity right now, so let's maybe try to get the hell out of here. And... Uh, okay, hold on. Maybe a bad idea. Wait, okay, I found a sanctuary. Okay, I've... I've died again. I'm a skeleton. How am I spo How am I still dying? Doesn't make any sense. I have one revive left. Uh-oh. Let's take speed here. And just hope I can last this for 20 more seconds. It's just every now and then the bones go away. Every now and then the duration wears out because they bounce too much. So I will up the duration in hopes that they can continue to bounce to last longer. Oh, uh, 10 more seconds is going to be really close. I'm so low. Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm fine no matter what. Jesus, man. All right, give me some XP. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, that was terrifying. 154,000 damage per second. And the bone wasn't that shabby either. I got Gains Boros. Plus 2% growth every level. I feel like that's meant to limit break, huh? Yeah, I guess it kind of is. Well, maybe I'll go for an extremely high level next time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.